So we're presenting sort of 1590 Tudor England. At this time, uh, the wool trade and the colours that you could get were probably at its zenith, really, um, in the Tudor times. We had such a growth throughout the medieval eras um, with things like the plagues that we had. Because of the amount of uh, people that died in the plagues, you could look after five or six hundred sheep with only two or three men. In about uh, 1570s, you started getting the dyers' guilds. So you actually getting, started getting more uniform colours. Um, and you had this elite range of dyers. So on here is a chart from 1574. So these are all the colours that were available at the time. These are a multitude of things from plants to uh, lichens, so mosses and things from trees. You've got a number of roots as well. So you've got things like rhubarb root, madder root. You've got oak galls, so you can make ink out of oak galls. There were some expensive dyes coming in at this time as well. So you had uh, Walter Riley bringing in some fascinating things from the Americas, but you also had the East India trade starting up as well, bringing in some wonderful things from India. 